They're away for nine, ten months of the year. They don't see their families. It can be very lonely, very hard and very difficult. Life on the ship is different from the life on the earth because uh, she become your home. When I'm uh, here on board, my baby uh, born. I just see him in only a Facebook and a Skype. I can tell to my son just seven more days. And then uh, we will see each other already. <laughs> I want to see my family, my wife and my son. I miss so much. I have never seen six months. When I'm speaking and I'm calling my family, he said, Papa, where are you? It's hard. This summer, we had 58 cruise ships called in Invergarden. On board, there were in the region of 75,000 passengers including those, of course, would be between 25 and 30,000 crew. And I think the busiest day of this year, we had about 400 seafarers in, over and above the passengers that call. Our church was opened in 1862. The spire is on all of the navigation charts for the Cromarty Firth. When we started opening our doors, especially for the seafarers, around 20 years ago, we had four volunteers. Over the years, the number of volunteers have grown in line with the number of seafarers that visit the church. And last year, we discovered we had over 40. We give facilities here for the seafarers to come in and speak to their families in real time. They can see their wife and their children. When you can talk to your partner, to your wife, if you were down, your spirit is up. I have a chance to take, make a Skype or Facebook to my family. That's the only thing I got. <laughs> Being away from their families is very, very hard. Some of them have children so young, it might be two or three months when they go away, and by the time they come back, they'll maybe just make their first birthday, or they might even miss it, they're away for that long. Seafarers can come, um, we are free to speak to them at any time, to help them with any of their problems, uh, practical or spiritual. People are very uh, warm and welcoming. They say to me, welcome, it's very important for me, smile, friendly. I said friendly every time. When the seafarers come in, we show them the shelves at the door where we have all our, our books and Bibles. We have Bibles which we give to them in whichever language they wish. It's sometimes easier to have them to take a little booklet. One of the books we, we use is a little book called Daily Strength. It's an easy book to understand and it's one that I recommend to uh, a lot of the young people that come in. It's good to have literature to give them because even if they can't spend the time talking, um, then they've got the literature to take away with them. But through prayer, through the Bible, through a variety of books and leaflets that we have, we share our faith with them. I would say that's what gives them the most strength, is knowing that uh, they've got God uh, with them at all times, and it's very important to a lot of them. We see people come back year after year, um, and we see that ships that hadn't got a fellowship before um, have Christian fellowships on board and we see the change in the lives of some of these young people. Out of 800 crew members and we have 30, it's a little hard for me because you would like to see this in a bigger family fellowship. We in the church here are older people simply because we have the time in our lives to come to the church and we have the, the burden for these people. When I think about them so far away from home, I, I look at them all as if they're my own children. The last, the last week was really cold, so they provide all the kind of pastry, tea, coffee, uh, gloves, hats, even Bibles, books. Yes, this uh, kept my presence. He was here three times or four times. Every time he helped us. Every time. His good people is there. Here yeah, in this church is amazing. I love it. I love it here. I've been for three months off. I was excited, you know, to, to get off this vessel this morning, to, to, to be here again, to, to get back with my, with my brothers and sisters. They're away for nine, ten months of the year. They don't see their families. 
It can be very lonely, very hard and very difficult. Life on the ship is different from the life on the pier because uh, she become your home. My name is Rahil on board. My baby is born. I just see him in only a Facebook and a Skype. I can tell to my son just seven more days. Then uh, we will see each other already. <laughs> I want to see my family, my wife and my son. I miss so much. I have never seen six months. When I'm speaking and I'm calling my family, he said, Papa, where are you? It's hard. We get to know some of the crew. They come in each time the, the ship bursts in the garden. By the time the summer goes, they're close friends. And in days like today, when it's the last visit of one of the ships, we feel sorry seeing the ship leave the port. Strangers on the shore have become friends in our midst and we feel that's exactly what they are. Mm.